Wonderful morning to everyone. Welcome to Social Science class. Children, why do we need to learn Social Science? It will help us to know about the past events or history. We will know about the physical divisions, geographical condition. We will know about the earth, then our constitution, democracy, the fundamental rights and duties of every citizen. We will know about the historical monuments, architecture, so music, art, culture, so many things. We will learn many things from social science. It will help us to develop the personality. It will help us to develop our personality. Man is a social animal. We must make ourselves to fit in the society. So let's start with the first unit where we will learn about understanding the earth. In the previous year, you learned about earth, brief introduction, but this year you are going to learn about the earth in detail. So in the first unit, there are three subunits. For in first unit, in first subunit, you will learn about the circling lines, the circling lines and second subunit is seven massive pieces of land and third is about the oceans. So there are three subunits. We will start with the first one, the circling lines. In that, we will learn first, I will tell you a brief introduction of earth. Then we will learn about the latitudes, about longitudes and international date. Okay, we will start with the introduction of earth. First, I will give you brief introduction of earth. You all know, earth is a third planet from the sun. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet or it is the only astronomical object where the life exists. So, three parts of the earth is covered with water and one part is covered with land. So, it is also called as blue planet. It is also called as blue planet because three parts of the earth is covered with water and one part is covered with land. So, earth is our home planet. So, this is a brief, brief introduction of earth. Then, we will move to the latitudes. So, children, please tell me, before going to latitudes, I would like to ask you one question. So, our daily work or our daily schedule or our routine work, on what basis we will do all our work? It may be the sleeping time, going to school, study hours, playing time, whatever it may be. On what basis we will do all these works? By seeing the watches or clocks. And to know about the festivals and events, we will go through the calendars. So, our work, our entire work, our all work, we completely depends on clocks and calendars or watches or calendars. Why we depend on them? Why we will experience days and nights? Because the earth rotates on its axis. The earth rotates on its axis. You can see in the image how earth rotates on its axis. Also, the earth revolves around the sun. The earth revolves around the sun on its orbit. On its orbit. Do you know what is orbit? Orbit is an elliptical path where one object moves around the other object. So, Earth does both rotation and revolution simultaneously. So, Earth will take 24 hours. Earth will take 24 hours to complete one rotation. How many hours? 24 hours. And it will take 365 days to complete one revolution. It will take 365 days to complete one revolution. So, as I told you, the earth will do both the actions, rotation as well as revolution. Simultaneously, we will experience the seasons. We will experience the seasons. On this base, the one day is having 24 hours 
and one year there are 365 days. So on this base we will calculate the day, time and years. On this base we will calculate day, time and years. Okay. So before that I will show you the picture of earth which is taken from the moon. This picture you can see here. This picture is taken from the moon. Can you see any lines on this picture? No. This is the picture of the earth taken from moon. Can you see any lines? No, you cannot see any lines. One more picture I will show you. So can you see this picture? This is a picture of a globe. Globe is nothing but model of a earth. Globe is nothing but model of a earth. Here you can see the axis in the globe. The slanting line you can see here. Can you see the slanting line? This, this is called axis and middle line. This is the equator. This is the equator. So you can see some lines. You can see some lines. They are called imaginary lines. They are not real. They are not real. They are imaginary lines. In the real picture, real in the earth, we won't find the lines. We won't find these lines in the real in the real, we won't find those lines. They are imaginary lines. Now we will start with the latitudes. We will start with the latitudes. Latitudes. Latitudes are the horizontal lines run parallel to the equator. Run parallel to the equator. So equator, the measurement starts from zero. The measurement of degree starts from the equator. So equator, the latitude, this is the Longest latitude, the equator you can see here. So, this line is the longest latitude. Longest latitude. Equator divides the earth into two halves. So, the part near to the north is called northern hemisphere and to the south it is called southern hemisphere. So, this is the longest latitude as we go up. As we move towards the north, the lines will become smaller. The lines will become smaller because the earth is round. As the earth is round, the lines will become smaller. In the same way, as we move towards the south, the lines will become smaller. So, all the latitudes are given numbers. All the latitudes are given numbers. Equator is at zero. Equator is at zero. The N, the N indicates north. Whereas S indicates south. So there are some other important latitudes. They are given names from the constellation of stars. So one by one I will tell you. So from zero, from the equator towards the south at 23 and half degree towards south. That is Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Capricorn. Then towards south. At 66 and half degree south, that is Antarctic Circle. That is Antarctic Circle. And from equator to the north, at 23 and half degree, that is Tropic of Cancer towards north. N. 23 and half degree N means towards north. That is Tropic of Cancer. Then 66 and half towards north. That is Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle. So there are totally 181 latitudes. There are 181 from equator towards north 90 and from equator towards south 90 and this equator line 1. So there are totally 181 latitudes. There are totally how many latitudes? 181 latitudes. The latitudes circle the globe in an east-west direction. They will circle the globe in east and west, east to west direction. They will help us to know the position of the place. They will help us to know the position of the place to the north or to the south. To the north or to the south of the equator to the north or south of the equator so by seeing by seeing the globe we can 
uh, we can identify the position we can identify the position of any place or any country we can say so this country is near the tropic of cancer for example so this country lies near the tropic of capricorn like that so these lines will help us to know the position of the places towards north or towards south of the equator so this is all about the latitudes this is all about the latitudes i hope you understood well you understood so go through the textbook you read twice so you will come to know more you will be perfect with the latitudes okay so practice this picture then you will be perfect with the latitudes so in the next class we will start with the longitudes in the next class we will start with the longitudes until then stay home stay safe bye children